back to my kitchen. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to cover a cake. A very simple tutorial but so many people ask me how to do this. So all I've got here, I've got a cake that's already been ganached and it's set and I've got a dummy cake that's going to go on the top. Now you will find tutorials on my YouTube channel on how to cover your dummy cakes and I'm going to show you how to add a pattern to it and we're going to have a stunning two-tier cake at the end of it. So let's start. Right, I'm going to be using Sugar and Crafts Premium RTR and I'm using the ivory color and I've softened it. Again, you will find tutorials on how to soften the sugar paste because it is quite hard when you take it out. All you need to do is slice it, dice it and knead it. I've got a little bit of corn flour here which I just dab on the top just to stop it sticking to my rolling pins. And I'm going to roll it out and I'm going to try and keep it in a circular shape. And I'm just going to pick it up. And now I'm going on to my tapered rolling pin, which has got no hard edges so it won't leave any marks in the sugar paste. And remember, if you're not sure how wide to roll your sugar paste, you can get a tape measure and you measure from the one side of your cake up, over and down and that is how long you would need to measure your cake. So it's just up, over and down. Alright. And I'm just going to wet this cake because this is dry now. This sugar paste is not going to stick to this. So I'm just going to spray this with a little bit of water. And just wipe my hand over there and around the edge and then I'm just going to get a cloth and I'm just going to wipe around the base of the cake stand the turntable right cake smoothers and then we can pick this up Pick it up and put it over the cake, easing it over gently. Get your cake smoother. And just with the back of your hand, smooth that cake down and where it forms a pleat, you want to open that pleat up and smooth it down. Open it up and smooth it down all the way around your cake, right down to the bottom. Until you get back to where you started. Then you're going to take your cake smoother and just seal that in all the way around the base. If you get any air bubbles, you can just with a pin just prick a tiny little hole in just so that the air can escape. Okay. I'm just going to pierce that a little bit. There was a bit of an air bubble there. Right. So what I'm doing now is I'm just trimming around the base of the cake trimming off all that excess sugar paste and then you can remove it roll it up and keep that for later just go back around and just seal that nicely now before I take this off I'm going to add some diamond detailing to the side of the cake and I have a stencil here. Now you can see the stencil's got a ridge here. And if you turn it over, it's got an indent. I'm going to be placing the ridge side against the side of the cake. And I'm going to start. And I'm going to hold it firmly against the cake. And where all these lines are, I'm just going to rub my fingers over the, the lines. 
So that's indenting into the cake. Don't worry if they don't all come out because we're going to go over those lines just now. And you can see there, there's the diamonds. So now what I'm going to do now is match that pattern up there and bring it around and continue to do the same thing. Just with my fingers indent those pattern lines there. And it may or it may not match up. It depends on the size of your cake. And if it doesn't match up, it's no problem. That's the back of your cake. Now these are just slightly out of line here. So I'm just going to carefully line those. Right. But that's not where we leave it. Because now we're going to take, I've got a nice stainless steel ruler here. And what I do is over those lines, I go over the lines with my ruler and you can see how nicely it cuts into the cake and I go over all those lines okay that's going to be the back of my cake because that's where the, the lines didn't quite match up most cakes have a back got some of the lines there that you can follow you don't have to worry about when you're indenting it with that stencil you don't have to worry that they don't all come out because once you start doing this then it's quite easy to follow you can just go over all the lines right so now I'm back where I started so now I need to do it the other way around So now what we're going to do now is take a, one of my cake tools, I'm going to use this ridged pointed end and I'm going to press each of those little diamonds where they meet. So just in there I'm just going to press a little hole. I don't do the bottom ones because I usually put a ribbon around the base. Now once we've done that, we're now going to take another tool and you can use um, your, your palette knives, but just be careful you don't cut too deep. So all I'm going to do with this now is I'm using the back of this little tool here and I'm just going to make a little cross on each of those little indents that I've just made. This just gives it a nicer dimension once you've got your pearl in there. All your indentations all the way around your cake you're ready now to add the beads. So here I've got a dragee kiss and I'm just going to pop some pearls in there. And before I place those on the cake, I've just got to dab each little hole with a little bit of petal glue. So I've got my paintbrush here and I'm literally just going to dab it in there and in each hole just poke the, the brush just so that the glue can sit in there. Right so I'm back where I started and now we can start placing the little pearls. Now how this works is you pop your pearls into there and you pull it out and when you push it back you can see the pearls are ready to pop out there. So how we work that, you literally just pop them in. And you do this all the way around your cake. Oops, sometimes they come out a bit too quick. And this will save you getting finger marks on your cake and it just goes a lot quicker. All right, I'm just going to quickly neaten up those edges around the base and then I'm going to pop that onto a board and we're going to finish off the cake. Right, now that we've completed all the decoration on our bottom tier, we're going to place that onto our covered cake board. 
Remember to always cover your cake boards. You'll see I've got a tutorial on that. Um, there's no point in spending hours and hours on a cake and then you put it on a silver board. I always say it's like going out and you're forgetting your shoes. So please, please make sure you cover your boards. So here I've got a little bit of melted chocolate. I'm going to place it in the center of my cake board. And then I'm going to lift this cake onto the board. And just check that the back of my cake is where it should be. And because this board has set, I can actually move this cake slightly so it's not going to damage the board icing on the board. Right. And now that's ready to have the top tier put on. Now, I haven't dialed my cake yet. This is just a dummy cake. It's not heavy. But what I will do is I will place a dial in the center of the cake just to give it a little bit of support. And here I've got a plastic food safe biodegradable straw. So I'm just going to push this through and then trim. Just trim that piece off there. Push it back down so that it's level with my cake. And again, I'm just going to put a little bit of chocolate there just on the center just to secure that top tier. And there we go. Make sure it's nicely centered. Right. Right, so now we're ready to decorate. So here I've got some ivory colored ribbon and I'm just going to put it around the base of each cake just to finish off the edges. Tell your clients if you've got a pin securing the ribbon and that's really important. Just line up the two joins so you've got one join there and your other join at the top so it's in line. And here I've got a sugar flower peony. I've made one in a tutorial before, so you can always follow that one if you want to make one of these. And I'm just going to place that onto my cake. Just insert it into the cake. There we go. And I'm just going to finish it off with some gold leaf detail. There we have our cake. Nicely covered, easy to do, and I hope you'll join me next time. Thank you and goodbye.